Hello YouTube, once again this is Lena and now we're going to do a Dollar Tree haul. First off, we ha I liked the, sorry about the little bit of a glare, I'm trying to, I'll just shade them I guess because my light is shining off them like crazy. I bought three more of the Maybelline Liquid Eyes eye eyeshadows. I liked the green one I got last time so much that I picked up every other one they had but a nude because I don't really wear nude. So I bought a blue, a brown, and kind of a khaki. These are the packaging that they come in. And I know that Dollar Tree kind of gets things that aren't really for sale anymore in other places because I actually looked at CVS to see if they had any more of these and they did not. And I did swatches of them. That's the blue. The middle one is like the dark brown and the third one is what I would call a dark khaki. And they're actually, I can't re really properly show you, but they are actually dry and they don't move once they're dry. How I use them is that I put powder on top of them and then they don't move, period. Like, they last through my work day and I sweat constantly. I do wear an eye primer underneath, I will say that, but still, that's great. And next we have a, tooth a toothpaste and travel toothbrush. I like... I have a big bag that I like to keep everything in, and I wanted to have a travel toothbrush. I already have toothpaste in there, but I needed a toothbrush, and well, these came together, so I got an extra toothpaste. Next we have is something that I actually got for my mom. It is lick, it is two a two pack of strawberry lip balms. I don't personally like to wear flavored things because I have really big lips, and they get chapped really easily and if I put something on them I tend to eat it and suck on my lips and that dries them out. So I actually just wear Vaseline on my lips when I'm not wearing like lipstick or something. Next we have LA Colors in BCC660 Hot Blooded. Now I bought an LA Colors light like um, pale I'm forgetting the word right now, but like a pale, pale green, like almost like a mint green nail polish. That was in LA Colors about a week ago. And it took like four coats to show up as the proper color. And then it didn't chip so much as it peeled off in sheets. I'm going to give LA Colors one more try with a darker color and hope that it works better. And if not, I'm never going to buy it again. And that is that. Next we have Donna Michelle, something else I bought for my mom, a moisturizing lip gloss in cherry scented and it's got this deep red cherry as well. I have not had much luck with Donna Michelle. I bought two polishes that I think were in a previous filmed haul and neither one of them really impressed me. They both took several coats and they chipped really easily. I have a problem with my work. It destroys any makeup and nail polish that I put on. That's why I really like Sally Hansen because they, it lasts a lot longer in my job and it only takes one coat. Just, I read somewhere that the more coats you put on, the more likely it is to chip. I don't know why. I might be making that up. But I decided to let my mom try her lip gloss. See how that works. Here is an LA Colors mascara in very black. I wanted a small mascara so that I could fit it in my purse and that's it basically I just wanted a basic mascara for my purse okay. next we have two eye masks that you can put in the fridge and they get really cold and they help depuff your eyes one's for me one's for my mom I'm putting together a little basket for my mom as like a late Mother's Day gift because I don't get to see her very often. I didn't get to see her for Mother's Day. I live like two hours away from her. But I am going to see her in about two weeks. So I decided to put her together a little late Mother's Day basket. I keep playing with these beads. They're like gel beads and they feel really weird and ooky and I can't stop playing with them. Alright. Next, I bought a little four piece manicure set. But I bought it just for the scissors. Because in deep potting all of my deep potting all of my <laughs> oh stop I'm sorry my dog is trying to invade the film fine I'm not gonna fight you if I fight you you just want it more 
anyways, when I was depotting most of my eyeshadows to put into one storage bin, I was using my manicure scissors to do it, and I destroyed them. They wound up being in like five to six different little pieces. I wish I had kept them just so that I could show what I did to them. It was pretty funny. But I wanted it for this, and going to like CVS and seeing that they had a similar pair of scissors, but they were like $10. And I bought this as a full kit from Donna Michelle, whom I'm still not terribly sure I trust for anything. But I actually used them to trim my eyebrows. As you can see, I don't like trim my cuticles or anything. I don't really believe in it. I don't like poking at my nails too much. Because I'm afraid I'm... Glare, sorry. I'm afraid I'm going to give myself some kind of infection. So, nope, not for me. Let's see. I have another nail thing in here and I can't find it. Uh, no, wait, here it is. Here it is. I bought this for my mom as well. I just thought they were cute little Emery boards in purple. Her favorite color is red. They had nothing in red. But I, I'm pretty sure she likes purple too. So I bought her some little cute patterned Emery boards. Next, we have a hair product. It is called uh, Lusty Organics Olive Oil Detangling Spray Anti-Frizz and Detangles. For having only slightly wavy hair, my hair is super coarse and thick, so it's kind of nappy. So I decided to try this out. It actually smells pretty good. It doesn't stink or anything because I can't abide by anything that stinks in my hair. I have a very expensive heat protecting spray that I hate to use because it stinks. If it stinks, not going to touch, touch it. Not going to touch it. So there you go. Hopefully this works and prevents me having nappy hair. Next, the dork comes out to play again. I'm trying to get my camera. There we go. It's an Iron Man 3 Berry Blast Bubble Bath. I decided I needed a bubble bath for when I soak in the bath after work. And what else am I going to get? Did I get something that moisturizes? No. Did I get something that relaxes muscles? No. I got Iron Man. I'm such a 12 year old. I've been meaning to get a hairspray for my purse as well, and I've never been able to find one that's like less than $2 for a little bitty bottle. Dollar Tree came through. It wasn't with the rest of the travel products. It was actually with the hairspray. But you know what? I don't care. I was on to your tricks, Dollar Tree. So we have Tresemme Trays 2 Spray Extra Hold Non-Aerosol Hairspray. I have baby hairs on top of having super thick, super coarse, nappy hair. I have great hair, trust me. Next we have more storage bins. I already broke into them and put them in my makeup kit, or makeup three drawer box. This is the one I had left, but, but they come in three. I bought the skinny ones as well. I'm honestly not sure why I did, other than thinking, well, if I need those, I probably need these somewhere. They'll get used, I promise. Vanilla scented candle for my mom. Just part of her little gift thing. I hate the scent of vanilla, but she loves it. And of course, the dork comes out to play again. I bought more little um, Avenger figurines. It's actually a Green Hulk and a Red Hulk. What I ended up doing with my Iron Man and Thor was gluing them to the top of my makeup drawer. They are now decoration. And that's where these two will go as well. And last but not least, if I can get it out the bag. An Avengers paddle ball with the little ball. You know, the little rubber ball, you bounce it up and down, you see how many things you can do. I like it. Let's see who all it has. It has Iron Man down here. Captain America. Um, Thor, Hulk, and I don't know who the French that is. Who is that? Hold up a second. I think I just lost my door card because I don't know who the hell that is. It's called a paddle ball, by the way, according to the back. If anybody knows.
know who that is. Please tell me. I, I know Luke Cage is in the Avengers, but unless they changed his uniform since I last saw Luke Cage, because he used to wear like a little child's tiara and a bright yellow shirt, I don't think that's Luke Cage. I don't know who that is. Now I gotta go find out who that is. I had also bought some food, but I gave my husband what was his already, and he has run off with it, so... Yeah, you ain't seeing that. So, I leave you with Mo. Hey, Mo. Look at the camera. Look at the camera, Mo. Look at the camera for Mama. He doesn't want to look at the camera. He wants to play. So, hi, YouTube. Mo says goodbye as well. That's the best you're going to get from him.